There's an old saying in my family, and it goes like this. Winners root their cords on the E string, but champions root their cords on the A string. So today we're gonna learn over a hundred different chords rooted on the A string through nine voicings separated between major and minor classes so you can substitute them for any chord you want. And we're gonna start right here on the fifth fret of the A string. This is a D note. So the, all these voicings right now are gonna be D something. And we're gonna start right here. So this is gonna be a D major voicing. It's kind of like a double bar chord. So I'm holding down the fifth fret on the A string. I'm holding down the seventh fret on the D, G, and B strings. And uh, you can just get away with playing those four strings on the inside. Now, if you wanna be like a true master, you can get that high A on E string, but that's not even essential. A lot of people play this chord like this. I don't know why you would do that. I feel like this is a lot easier. And again, with all these chords, uh, if some of these are too difficult, because this is kind of a tough one, actually. If some of them are too difficult, just get a piece of it. So if you can't play this, just go for this. And think of the root as being here, but you don't even have to play the root note to get a whole D major chord. So D major. Now, the regular voicing for D major is this. Just a little variety. Now, all of these are gonna be movable shape chords. And what that means is you can just take it, move it up or down the fretboard, and whatever note this is, the major chord will follow. So D major, D sharp, E flat, major, E major, F major. Anyways, so there's one, D major. Now, let's make uh, one minor variation to make a D major seven chord, okay? So, a uh, real quick background on this, it's just the major scale. The major scale is responsible for all this stuff, so please learn the major scale. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's what we're gonna add to this chord. So now I have my index finger on the fifth fret of the A string. It's like a power chord right here, ring finger, seven. My middle finger is the altered note here, and my pinky's gonna still sit down. Now, I can keep this high in, I can just get the middle four strings. D major seven, really awesome chord. Now we're gonna do one more thing. We're gonna take away this, flatten it from here to here, and this makes a D seven chord. D seven short for D dominant seven. So we have D major, D major seven, D seven. Now the way you make a D seven chord, you flatten the major seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Flatten that and that'll give you a D seven chord. So the difference between major seven and seven is actually pretty important. And we're gonna go over that with the next two chords. We're gonna do a D major nine chord. So now I've switched my finger that's holding the root note down. Now instead of my index finger, it's my middle finger. And I'm gonna have a major third here, one, two, three. So I've got this piece here. And now I'm gonna add in my pinky to the sixth fret of the G string. And my ring finger is on this E note, which is five on the B string. So and again, this is just the middle four strings. D major nine. Now, just like the difference between D major seven and D seven, the same thing pretty much applies to D major nine and D nine. All I need to do is take this seventh note and flatten it. So it doesn't make sense to do this. I'm gonna switch these two fingers here. Now I'm gonna get this. So I've got five, four, five, five. So we've got D major, D major seven, D seven, D major nine, and D nine, which is gonna dominate. All of these can be substituted for major chords to varying degrees of success. Now the opposite of that would be a minor chord. But we're gonna keep it in the same spot and just move it around. This is gonna be a D minor voicing, a really, really common shape. Uh, it starts the same way the major chord does, except that note is altered. It's a flat three. So we have five A, seven D, seven G, and then six B right here. And again, you can still get the fifth fret on the high string if you want to, but you don't need to. You can just get the middle four if you want. So. D minor. Now, to make a D minor seven, all you have to do is pop your pinky up. Minor, minor seven. Okay, um, another really awesome one that I'm a big fan of is a minor nine chord. Now we're gonna change our root note from our index finger to our middle finger. 
And actually think of the D9 uh, that we did with the major class chord, and then just flatten the third, which is again the difference between major and minor is a flat third. So take your index finger, back it one fret back, so now we have five, three, five, five. Minor nine chords, really, really cool to kind of add a different flavor to different playing. And uh, the fourth voicing we're gonna do that we're gonna call a minor voicing, it's not tight, it's more of a diminished thing, is a minor seven flat five chord. Now this occurs on the seventh note of a scale, if that makes sense to you, great. If not, don't worry about it. All it is is index finger on the D. Now we're gonna go five to six, five again, and six again. A minor seven flat five. It's kind of a long name for a chord, but the cool thing is it's telling you exactly what's in there. It's a minor seven chord. There's the five, my ring finger. I'm gonna flatten that in a more comfortable hand shape like this. And there it is. Minor seven flat five, so it's a D minor seven flat five. D sharp, E flat minor seven flat five. E minor seven flat five. So you can just move all these around. Now why this is important is because you can take really bland chord progressions, substitute some of them in and out, and make them just a little bit different so it doesn't sound like everything else in the world. Uh, an example we'll do, let's do uh, a chord progression like uh, like D major to E minor to G major to C. So instead of all open chords, D, E minor, G to C, let's trade some of them out. So instead of starting with D, let's start with the D major seven. And the E minor, let's change that to an E minor nine. So D, and instead of that regular old G, Go all the way, find the G on the A string, which is the 10th fret, and we'll make that a dominant 7 chord. And then we'll go back to the C, but we'll use one of the other voicings, we'll use, uh, we'll use the major 9 chord. So instead of D, E, G, C, you've got D, E, G, C. Then maybe the second time around, change up, do the regular D, the E minor 7 flat 5 to the 9, C9. So again, D. There you go. Over a hundred different new chords rooted on the A string. Mix them in with the E string. Do whatever you want. Rock hard. Have a good time. See you later.